It's time for Eyewitness Sports. Good evening, I'm Brendan Miller with Eyewitness Sports, and the Utica Comets had the chance tonight to move on to the next round in the Calder Cup playoffs. Already up one game to none against the Laval Rocket in the North Division first round after their win 4-0 on Wednesday up in Toronto, or Ontario, that is, excuse me. Tonight's contest returned to the Adirondack Bank Center for game number two, with the chance at a third game being at the home barn as well if the Comets weren't able to pull off a win tonight. I'm sure the team wasn't thinking that way, though, especially with Nico Dawes in net. He posted his first career playoff shutout on Wednesday, his third shutout in the last six games since returning from injury in late March, and it was the first time that Laval had been shut out all season in their home arena. So, you know what they say, a hot goaltender can lead you through the playoffs if they need to. Think Jonathan Quick in 2012 or Andre Vasilevsky two years ago. And Dawes tried to replicate his performance tonight with a chance to move on on the line. The game started at 7 p.m. with Dawes between the pipes for the Comets and on the ice some names that we know but who had been out of the lineup until Wednesday. Brian Pinnow, Alex Holtz, Brian Hallinan, and Nolan Foote all returning to the lineup for the first time at home after extended injuries. They all played on Wednesday night and were contributors. Holtz plus two in tallying an assist on Ryan Schmelzer's first goal of the game. While well, the rest didn't have points, but played well defensively, assisting in Dawes' shutout. If you would go one tonight, they moved on to the North Division semifinals and a five-game series with the Toronto Marlies. But if Laval won, which they had done in all three trips to the Adirondack Bank Center in the regular season, the series between the two is extended to its third game, which would be tomorrow night at the Odd, again at 7 o'clock. So, how exactly did the game tonight go? Let's take a look. The two sides know that this game, do or die, the Comets slogan for the postseason is light it up, but nobody lighting it up in the first. A lot of it thanks to Nico Dawes, who continued his stretch of first-class hockey with save after save after save. He's seeing the puck really, really well until halfway through the second period. He's going to get a shot that'll come at him. It goes off of the shoulder, and a rebound pops straight up in the air. Here is that. Laval able to collect the puck. It goes back to the point, and Frederick Allard is there. His shot from the top top of the zone finds its way through traffic to give the Rocket a 1-0 lead, a lead that they held until just two seconds remaining in the game when Riley Walsh tied it on a point shot of his own, sends it to OT, and Sam LaBerge, the OT winner, tips it past Rocket netminder Caden Primo on an assist from Simone Nemitz to send the Comets through to the North Division semifinals. A 2-1 victory for Utica in the most unlikely of fashions, but they'll take it any way it comes. The series with the Marley starts in Toronto on April 27th, then comes back to Utica for games 3 and 4 on May 3rd and 5th. For now, that's all for sports. Check out CMIHomepage.com for your top sports stories. More Eyewitness News coming up right after the break.